morning everyone and welcome to my first video on YouTube and today we are in Chingford visiting the final resting place of the infamous Cray twins Ronnie and Reggie so they were born in the east end of London in Hoxton Reggie was the older of the two twins by 10 minutes so he was the older brother and in the 50s and 60s Ronnie and Reggie ran what was called the firm and they mixed with celebrities and lots of high, high profile people and apparently there's even info online that in the 80s they supplied a team of bodyguards to Frank Sinatra to protect him when he came over in the UK which is pretty interesting so we're just coming up to where they they were laid to rest some, they've got other family members here as well, mum and dad and brother. At the front we've got Violet and Charles David Cray, which were the parents. In loving memory of our dear mum and dad Violet Cray who passed away 4th of August 1982, age 72. And then Charles David Cray passed away 8th of March 1983, aged 75 years. May you both rest peacefully. Our love and memory is always with you. May God bless you both. And then just behind them, we've got the twins. Ronald Cray, born 24th of October 1933, died 17th of March 1995 and Reginald Cray died 1st of October 2000. And then next to them we've got the older brother, Charles James Cray, born 9th of July 1927, died 4th of April 2000. A much loved father, friend, now reunited with his son Gary and family. You are all sadly missed by Diane and all of our, your dear friends. God bless you, Charlie. May your eternal light shine upon you. Charlie apparently wasn't as at the forefront of it all. He was part of the firm and was involved. And then just in front of Charlie, we've got Frances Cray, the wife of Reggie Cray. In loving memory of my dear wife Frances Cray who passed away 7th of June 1967 aged 23. If I could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers numbers all your graces the age to come would say the poet lies such heavenly touches that never touch earthly faces. And then just here at the bottom Got another headstone for Gary Charles Gray, died 8th of March 1996, aged 44 years. And then opposite. There is a bench of a right with writing to the Cray family, may you all be at peace.
Hey everyone, we are in the Blind Pepper Pub on Whitechapel Road, which is where the shooting took place of George Cornell by the craze. So we're going to have a look around, see if we can see where the bullet holes are and um, get some shots. So the bar area hasn't really changed too much over the years. Um, so the corner of the bar that we can see now where the pillar is, that's where George Cornell was actually sitting on the day having a drink. And that's, um, that's Pixie that we can see. She actually belongs to the barmaid while we were there. She just made sure that we were behaving ourselves. This is the actual door that Ronnie came through with an associate. It actually changed. Um, back in the day, it used to lead to an alleyway outside. It's now been converted to gentlemen's toilets. There were several shots fired um, during the events. One of them actually hit the wall behind this mirror. Um, the mirror wasn't there at the time. Um, the mirror was placed there afterwards. And one of the shots, I think two shots actually, were fired into the ceiling. And this, the two bullet holes are still visible um, in the ceiling today. And this is the, the piece of wallpaper that was sitting where the mirror is. So what they did, they actually cut it out and put it in a frame and it's still got the bullet hole in it, which is pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you can like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll be bringing you loads more cool videos in the next couple of weeks.